Hi, my name is Randall Chapman, and today I went boot to root and Funbox Rookie. And I've been trying to do this in one take. So Funbox Rookie is a scenario that you can reach, uh, that you can actually encounter in real life uh, when your rookies are trying to become admins. So as you can see, I already have the server up and running, and this is a fresh reboot of all the systems. All right, so now we're gonna get to work. And for fun, we're actually gonna include a timer. So, okay, so the first thing I wanna do is go over and open up terminal window. And what we need to do is find the actual IP of the, uh, the box. So we're gonna do a sudo net discover. Now, there could be other ways of going about this to actually find out this information, but uh, some of the walkthroughs I went to just said this is one of the simplest and easiest ways, and that's pretty much what I'm going off to, going after is um, I followed the walkthroughs quite a bit, but there is some areas where I actually didn't follow it because there was just easier ways to do things that we've learned in class. Okay, so. I can tell you that from doing this before, I know that the IP of the system is actually 107. Okay, so just for fun, I'm gonna actually keep that. All right, so uh, next we want to end map uh, 192.168.56.107. I would find out that there's an HTTP port open. So let's go ahead and <coughs> bring up a browser. And we'll just go ahead and check out that IP. Okay, find out that it's an Apache 2 server. Well, so one thing that uh, we've been we've learned in the class is actually check out the robots text. And here we find that logs are disallowed. But for fun, let's check out the logs. See, you know, of course, 404. All right. So in that case. Um, there's nothing really be found through the uh, poor 80 on the uh, the uh, web page. So next, let's do a little bit more of the in, in depth in map scan. So we're going to do a option A, uh, 192.168.56.107. All right. So this is going to just take a little longer. So okay. So now we see that in the FTTP, FTP portion of it that uh, we find that there's a bunch of files in there. So let's go back to the web page and we're going to go into file transport. All right, so in here, I actually tried to see if that maybe something simple, you know, I could go in up to a higher level, but it does nothing but stay on this one page. And then I checked out the welcome, um, the welcome message and it's just basically a default message, you know, and it says, you know, contact root. So nothing there. So what in the industry we're going into, you know, you want to grab a hold of it, anything and everything you can get your hands on. So basically I've already downloaded all these zip files and we're going to go over here and check that out. So here's the zip files. So let's see if we can get into these zip files. Okay, so hey, there's an RS, uh, RSA in here. Now, each one of these is password protected. Of course, there's no figuring out what the password is. So, I mean, we could sit here and guess or something like that, but there's an easier way. Uh, we can use zip to John, which actually will pull the hash out of these zip files and then we can run it through John the Ripper. Now, here's where I went a little different than what the walkthrough wanted me to do. The walkthrough wanted me to pull each hash individually and run it through John Ripper once. But I remember from a previous lesson in the class that we could actually do something to where um, <clears throat> we, can, uh, we can append the file. And what I did was I actually made a list where it's zipped to John. It, pulls the zip file and puts the hash into a hash file. And then each one of them appends that hash file. So actually making one file. So here, let's go ahead and copy this. Um, and see now we're in that location. So what we're gonna do is we're going to actually paste all that. And it's pulled all the hashes and put it in one file. That's gonna make it a lot easier for us. So, um, 
you know, as you can see, we've got the hash file. And to go in the hash file, it really is just a bunch of junk. I mean, you know, it's, we could run these individually, but let's not. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a copy of the raw cube text. We're gonna put it in here because that's kind of where I'm working at the moment. And then we're gonna do John, word list, equal to rock you dot txt and made the hash file hash hash and then it's already pop two passwords well working through this before i can tell you catwoman even though catwoman's awesome that password was a dead end it was basically uh, a waste of time and i don't really want to add that much time to this so but the tom one did work which we're just going ahead and copy his password and then we're going to go back to the file open it up and then we're going to hit extract we'll extract it to this and then put the password in and we got the file we got the RS, uh, rsa key so as you can see right here okay so next uh we're going to use that rc rsa key and ssh into the um to the IP address of the phone box. So we're gonna do dash I, ID, RSA, excuse me, RSA, and then we're gonna do Tom at 192.168.56.107, okay. SSH, <laughs> okay. Now, this is already, I've already uh, bonded the uh, RSA key, so we don't have to do that again. But as you can see, we're now in Funbox. So now that we're already in Funbox, let's go ahead and do LS to see what we can see. Of course, there's nothing. Let's CD dot dot. Okay, so here's something that's interesting. It's telling us that our bash or shell is restricted. Now, this is where the two walkthroughs kind of went different directions to get to the same result. One of them actually was very simple and talked about a Perl script, and a Perl command. And it's very simple. It says Perl dash e uh, exec space quotes forward bin forward bash. Uh, quote, semicolon. Okay, now this is going to break us out of the restricted box of the shell. So even though it didn't do anything. Now if we do ls, of course, there's nothing. cd dot dot. And that brings us to home. Okay, let's look in here. So now we got a Tom folder. Okay. So let's go ahead and cd into Tom. Gosh, if I could type today. All right, still nothing. Well, how about we just do something a little bit more in depth? LS uh, dash LSA. Okay, so it looks like we got, got some unusable stuff, but the walkthrough said that if you ever find a dot MySQL underscore history, to always look in there because you can find something. So we're gonna cat that file. SQL underscore. Okay. Now, at first, this looks like there's nothing there. But the interesting thing is there's a there's a password that's staring us right in the face here. Now, at first, it doesn't really look like there's anywhere we could see it. But when you look down at the line, it says insert slash 404 intro slash 404 support slash 404 parentheses tom comma forward slash 404 xx 11 yy 22 exclamation point that's actually the password right there after the 404 so next what we're going to do is we're going to try to get into the super user so sudo su and it's going to ask for a password so we're going to enter that password uh, xx 11 yy 22 exclamation point bam we've got root okay 
So let's get into the root directory. So we're gonna cd forward slash root and ls and there's our flag. Now we're going to um, cat the flag file txt and bam we've got the flag and also victory thank you for watching my video